it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 20 of Delicious Party. Pretty curious, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I need to check my phone, but my phone is all the way over there. All the way over there. With the core water bottle, so probably after this, like, um... Oh, it's been a while since we've seen this! Ah! <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> oh, You know, good thing I'll be eating in like less than an hour because I get to eat dinner after this. Well, of course, Mary has to be there, right? Of course, because I mean, this is a party! Like, oh, he has to be there! Like, come on now! Like, oh, just give it to me, like, please. I mean, they're gonna be wearing dresses and everything. Because it was so funny because we all saw that last week they were using the art that they showed in the previous like promotion and stuff so yeah i think it was what like last night i got to see more and they showed like oh my god they showed everybody from healing good all the way up to this and i was like ah so to see my other babies dressed up as well was so good i mean like ah uh, it still kind of makes me wonder like why we didn't get a collab movie like we had two seasons of collab movies, and now with this, there is no collab movie. Like, the, it would have been perfect if it was Kitty Kitty Pretty Care All the Mode. Like, I completely. And I think a lot of us are still like, damn, that's a letdown that she, like, Kitty Kitty isn't going to be represented in this, or just collabed in this and such. And I'm like, it was perfect! Like, oh! What was the problem? Like, was everybody just sitting around like, no, we don't want to do Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl mode with Delicious Party. Like, it would have been flawless. Oh, look at her glasses! Oh! Well, yeah, but this is more advanced. It's more... This is more ladylike. <laughs> mm. 
Good job. that too but sometimes even if you do mm -hmm. so really both are kind of the correct answers and what about the other two oh my goodness honestly these two need help from not only kitty kitty pretty girl and mobile go princess and a nacho You'll be fine. Don't be, like, so stressed. You'll be okay. Mm-hmm. a little different. Yeah, where is Mary? <laughs> Already? Like Alice, amazing, y'all. Oh. 
I'm just waiting for that damn necklace to get. I, I think it's like almost here. To me, it should be getting here this week. Cause you know, last week, if you saw me on Twitter, the drama that I thought that thing that was lost, I was like freaking out. How is that going to work with the wine bottle opener? Okay! Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Not mad at it. Episode 20, I mean 20, and they're still not all together, all four. We have, here's three. And separate. I'm okay with that still because you know, best girl, she gets her whole fucking screen time. Amane, queen, queen, yes, let's go. But at the same time, I'm ready to see all four at the same time. Somebody on YouTube was literally able to do a whole minute, what well, was really the, the whole freaking transformation for all four, but it still worked. It overlapped, but it was a beautiful mess. I'm just waiting for them to finally put all four together. But yes, we can give her best girl the fucking screen time because best fucking girl, that's all. I'm hungry. <laughs>
Seriously, what the heck? Well, at least that took it down a little bit. They're so cute. Oh my god. Oh my heart. That was adorable. Oh my god. Oh damn. <laughs> At least they're defined, like, continuously developing this relationship. I'm happy. Like, ooh. Cause I'm kind of hoping that those two get together in the end. So, yes, make me happy, pretty care.
this fucking go princess pretty cure. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, that was good. Oh my god. <laughs> like this shipping is so cute. But but big big book. I, I need 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 the Amane Ron like moments. I just, I need my Simpho Gear babies to just interact more. So please, like, yes, as much as I like Hokone and Amane, like, interacting, I need Ron and Amane to have, like, more moments together. That's it. Just give it to me. Mm-hmm. That's all. That's freaking all. That's all I need. Like, I, because it, it's, okay, it's not only that, but I do love it when, like, they have seiyus who all know each other from other things and projects that they've worked on, and they have them, like, be in a really close friendship dynamic-ish, because it's so cute, and then it's like, oh, hey, like, we just went from this show to this show with it, and I just need it. That's all. That's, like, if we had, which sucks, if we did get our fucking, um... The All-Star movie, we would have had Aoi Yuki and Miku freaking out together. But, you know, Toei said, you know, hey, we gotta save money. So, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, I did it! like so freaking bad I really wish like for the freaking all stars movie like we would have everyone from Futariwa all the way to delicious like interacting it just cause okay it, it's the one thing a lot of us like I've talked about this before I think like around the time maybe when I was I think when they announced it between cause they announced it like between Hagato Kira Kira and Hagato, I believe, that was when we were getting, like, oh, hey, instead of every, instead of everybody, you know, we're only going to take the most three recent groups and such, um, but I remember, like, specifically Hagato, Star Twinkle, um, Healing, Tropical, and, uh, I think with this, I did talk about it a lot, it, it's the one, like, kind of downfall about it, and this is why, like, it, it's, like, it's not the same, with three groups, yes, it, it's still, like, it's somewhat similar, but the fact is, like, when you are expecting to see so many seiyus return to voice these characters for, like, maybe a moment, it, it's, like, for me, it's, like, the Super Bowl, in my opinion, um, and such, and it's the biggest highlight to see all these girls uh, initially be together. Like, when it happened for Hagato. And we were celebrating the anniversary, and we got to see every single cure up to Hagato all together in an episode. Then plus the movie that was coming out in October, like, everybody was going ballistic. But when you have something, like, with other, with seiyus that have done, once again, other projects with certain seiyus who also eventually go into Pretty Gear and become a Pretty Gear for the year... And you were just like, damn, I kind of wish, like, this person wouldn't interact with this person and such. Like, okay, for an example, when <laughs> when a freaking um, Mahotsuka came out, and I went, I think one day I was bored, and I went and I looked to see who played who. Because, of course, like, you know, I think we all kind of do that, and we all want to know, and we all want to see, like, what they've all done together. Um... It's, like, the be one of the best things. Because it's, like, oh, okay, like, oh, this is such and such and such and such. Like, it it's funny because I think it's Miracle? Because, uh, okay, hold on, because I got to ask this. Cause, well, no, I well, I can, but then at the same time I can't. The chick who plays Megamine and Kanesuba slash Amelia and ReZero, she plays, I think, Miracle and such. So... 
hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, as I was saying, um, to have, like, those two, because I, I know, like, okay, so, like, when Isekai Quartet was coming out, um, and to have um, all three of the pretty heroes from Mahotsukai and Isekai Quartet, that's freaking hilarious, because when they interact now, all I hear and see in my mind are the three pretty heroes from Mahotsukai. And it, it's funny, because... With, like, this, it's it's very similar to that. But at the same time, like, I don't... What, okay, so when I see both Amane and Ron, do I initially see um, What's a Phrase from Sinfo Gear and then Miku? Sometimes I do. Sometimes, not all the time, because it's just, it's cute. But the thing is, I from what I barely remember, those two barely interacted in, in, in Sinfo Gear, from what I remember, I'm guessing. I mean, I would have to ask someone again about that, or I'd have to just rewatch the entire show and such. But, like, if it did have, if we did get the All Star movie, and we did initially have Aoi Yuki's group, aka Healing Good, in it, then yeah, we would have we got that initiative. That's the same thing if we had decided to do the entirety. And we would have had Nana Mizuki's group with Heart Catch interacting with the other girls. And that would have been so fun because, of course, like, it's all those memories that you have. But then you also think, oh, yeah, because, like, they interacted in this and stuff. And so I still kind of hope and pray that eventually when we get to, like, the 20th or the 30th or whatever, that we do get to see that and such. I do like the fact of the interactive interactions with both Kokune and Amane because their friendship and their dynamic and the way that they're, like, bonding together is adorable and really, really good. I love the fact that we're getting that. And because I'm hoping, when, like I said initially, when the new character comes in, they usually take all this screen time on her, on the new girl, and they focus not that much on the other ones. But I do like the fact is, like, we're getting the established relationships of Imane with the rest of these girls and having her somewhat try to fit in and it's working very well very different to like other seasons of pretty cure where sometimes it is a little kind of taken back and hard for the new girl to fit in with the rest of the group because of the fact is you know she is very different towards everyone else and then there are some moments where some of the girls bicker and interact like we haven't had a really good fight with any of these girls yes do i want to see it kind of in a way because it's kind of like it's a friendship thing there are going to be moments where you're not going to agree with your girlfriends or your guy friends on whatever the hell you're arguing about so eventually you're going to apologize and stuff but i mean yes it's just saying that okay they're cute they're cute and pure as fuck and i love it um, yes, I ship Amane and Coconut because they look cute together. <laughs> like, oh, like, I'm sorry. This whole episode was just shipping moments between them two. I'm sorry. Like, if, if you didn't see that, it was obvious. Like, straight up freaking obvious. Come on now. And next week is just going to be Amane and Ron. And then we'll eventually, we'll, we might get Yui and Amane. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> But I do also love the fact that Amane is very, like, kind of suspicious of Black Pepper because, of course, she barely really knows anything about him. Same thing with the other three. But it's more like, okay, um, <laughs> Ron, Kohode, and Yui, they're like, oh, he's okay. And Amane's like, I don't really know about him like that. But, of course, we have to go more in that backstory, and I feel like we're going to get a little bit more of that context soon it's just you know we're building up to it of course we're on like the filler slash canon type episodes and then eventually we'll get back to the main story so i think about like maybe two or three episodes again um we'll go back into the black pepper situation but yeah i thought the episode was enjoyable and sweet like always but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 20 a delicious party pretty cute. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday or Sunday for episode 21. Bye, guys.